Gaijin Entertainment presents The Shooting Range. In this episode, New Year, New Rules. We discuss the holiday combat etiquette in the game. A new Christmas event is already happening. Let's see what it holds for us. Hotline. The developers answer questions that you've left in the comments. But first, let's start with what happened to our favorite game this year. Two thousand seventeen was a major one for our game. We introduced so many new things that it isn't possible to list them all in the whole show. So, to sum this year up, we remember the most crucial changes that made it to War Thunder in two thousand seventeen. In March, we issued a global update one point six seven assault. It added a new PVE mode for both tankers and pilots. As a reward for participating in this mode, we started giving out trophies with power-ups to speed your progress. Apart from that, we added the long-awaited stabilizers for tank and ship weapons. There were some graphical changes as well. Of course, exhaust flames won't change the gameplay on planes, but they increase the authenticity of the flight experience. In the same update, we added two new maps: the Ardennes for combined battles. And Guiana Highlands for the air ones. As for the new tech, we've got some of that too. For example, the tankers got the IS-6 and the RU-251, and the pilots got their hands on the amazing A-26B-50. Later in the spring, we released the update 1.69 Regia Aeronautica, where we finally introduced a new nation by adding an Italian aviation tech tree. The tankers also have some presents. For example, the M60A2, the T95E1, and the T55A. We have also completely changed the ground battles gameplay by introducing smoke grenades and smoke screen launchers for the ground forces. And of course, we worked on the technical parts as well. Starting this update, the game now supports 4K resolution on PlayStation 4 Pro. And improved a lot on macOS system. Now it runs up to 200% faster on some models. All summer, we were working on the next update that we called the New Era. The name is self-explanatory. Since April Fool's Day event, when the players got to test the T90 and the Leopard 2A5 tanks, we were getting ready to introduce the tech rank number six, the T64A. The MBT-70, the Chieftain Mark X, and the BMP-1, and a whole lot of other Cold War machines gave the players a completely new gameplay experience, especially because of the new types of armor. The new tanks had explosive, reactive, and composite armor. The toys that the previous models didn't have. As for the pilots. They've got a new camera view from the gunner seat in the bombers and strike aircraft. We also added two new maps for mixed battles. The Emperor's Garden presented the beautiful and charming Japan, as the Fulda Gap showed us Germany full of contrasts, where a medieval castle stands side by side with some wind farms and military bases. Also in this update, we've reformed the combat mission system as well as the war bonds shop. Vive la France was the name for the update 1.73, as it was the one that introduced the seventh War Thunder nation, France. It started with planes only, but what a fantastic range of aircraft it offered! The SO8000 Narval, the Arsenal VB10, the amazing Vautour, and so many more. We've also reworked the aircraft engine sounds. They have become a lot more realistic. As for the tankers, they've got their first look at the Italian ground forces with the release of the P40 Leoncello and the M26 Ariete. And of course, in December, we released one of the biggest updates in the history of War Thunder: La Résistance. Following the French aviation, we've added the first 35 French tanks. The pilots got more than a dozen new aircraft in different nations, 
including the Japanese F-86F-40 and the Soviet Yak-2 and Yak-4. On top of that, two new maps for combined battles. The Maginot Line and the improved Middle East map from the April Fool's Day event. We also added some new functionality to light tanks. Now they can serve as reconnaissance machines even more efficiently and in arcade battles they can even call for airstrikes. The naval battles are also building up at great speed. This year we added dozens of new highly detailed ships from e-boats and to destroyers. A lot of them were available for those who participated in closed testing sessions and in update 1.73 Apart from adding the French planes, we also reworked the physics and rendering of water on all maps. We also changed the economy of the game. For example, after the release of the Cold War vehicles, we made huge changes to the tank trees. On lower tiers, it is now a lot cheaper to buy new tech, modules and ammo. Research and repair costs are also down as well as crew training fees. Now your way to the top machines is a lot more pleasant. As we mentioned before, these are only the main and most obvious changes that we've made this year. There were also hundreds of new machines, refined maps and tech models, respawn point protection system, balance and economy changes, new decorators, events and so much more. What impressed you most this year? Feel free to share in the comments. New Year changes everything. Rules of combat included. If you don't want to be yelled at by your comrades for ruining the holiday game, don't miss out on the newest etiquette changes in War Thunder. The best way to move from one point to another is in formation, a most beautiful holiday formation. We recommend forming stars and snowflakes. If you really want to feel the Christmas spirit, drive in a Christmas tree formation. Extra points to all the armored vehicles out there because it's much easier to fly in a snowflake formation than to drive in one. There are always some trees, buildings, enemies, you know. Spotted an enemy? Greet him with a shot in the sky. This rule is very easy to follow if your aim isn't very good. You won't even need to change your usual game style. <laughs> of course, there's an opposite situation. If you spot somebody shooting in the sky, join them. It's time for celebration fireworks. If you stumble upon an enemy and he doesn't shoot at you, don't rush to shoot first. He's probably busy with a very delicious Christmas snack. Wait there. Eat something nice as well. Nod with your turret when you've finished. And since we're talking turret movements, ask your teammates, where is the dance section of the map? If for some reason there is none, organize it yourself. This part of the map is not for battle actions. It's for cool movements, competitive angling and turret nodding. And shooting in the sky, of course, preferably all at once. As for the sky, there's plenty of dance space there. We recommend organizing a friendly dance battle. The rules are simple. One aircraft, cell, competes against the other in performing aerial acrobatic maneuvers. If you've got judges and audience, it's even better. And if you watch such competition, don't hesitate to root for your friends and cheer by performing those stunts yourselves. Christmas and New Year are just not the times to laugh and relax. It's also the time to give and get awesome presents. What can we say? we prepared quite a few. It is time to put on a silly hat, whistle Christmas carols, eat a glorious seasonal feast, 
and win some rare prizes in War Thunder. Here's what we've got. The only things you need to do in order to claim our first gifts is to win a couple of battles using any vehicle of rank 3 or higher with at least 60% activity. For a victory in ground battles, you'll get the glorious premium H39 Cambron tank. If you achieve victory in air battles, there will be a sweet little Pallier's D510 waiting for you in your hangar. If you already own these two, get Golden Eagles instead. It's a good start, but it's just the beginning. We also planned a huge festive quest. Help Santa find you in the upcoming holiday nights by decorating and lighting up the gigantic Christmas tree. Basically, it works like this. There are always two sets of missions that you can do, both on the ground and in the air. If you compete at least three out of five of those tasks, you get a Christmas toy, a tanker's or a pilot's one. These toys can be later exchanged for exciting things like the speedy AEC Mark II or the excellent P-40C or a panther that looks like the American M10 Wolverine SPG or even the French version of the FW190, the NC900. For every two Christmas toys for tankers or two toys for pilots, you will also get a few other goodies like random backup vehicles, camouflage, talismans and boosters. There are also other missions that let you work with other players to get even more presents. Have you seen the main page of our site lately? Every time you complete a task from a special list, you get one light closer to a new community achievement. Make our trees shine with light. And you'll unlock new things to get with Christmas toys. Things like decals, 3D decorations, unique camouflage, or even other premium vehicles. There are also discounts aplenty, just so that you know. Furthermore, it's worth noting that we really like our holidays long and proper. So you'll be able to collect holiday lights and decorations right up to January the 22nd. There's literally no rush. Take your time. Get ready for the traditional last part of our show, Hotline, developers answering questions from the comments. The first question in our holiday hotline comes from a user called Vegemite Australia. Can you put in a button that makes tanks do backflips? We absolutely 100% can, but probably we won't. The second question is by a player called Walrus Walking 16. So seeing that you read all the comments, what comment was number 402? It said Happy New Year and contained an ASCII picture of a cat. Even if it didn't, it now does. We used our own unique numbering system to answer that one. Then there is a question from Sam Smaller. How many kilograms of baguettes can the French bombers carry? <laughs> Quite a lot, mate. They sandwich them in. The last and very important message comes from a user called Josef Stalin. You capitalists declare your loyalty to me or you get 1,000 years gulag. Well, we plug in some rainbows. I surrender here. But you know the copyright holders and all that. And without it, <laughs> no surrender. But Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you anyway. That's it for today, but feel free to write your questions in the comments below. We do read them all, and you might see some of them answered in the next episode. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year with all our best wishes to you and your families.